Hi, right, welcome to Slow Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. There's more to the story. There's more to the story. The streets are talking. Let me say this first, though. Just to give you an update, just like you see right here, her dream house cost her her life, and but look who did it. Let me make a disclaimer first. This is Slow Flow TV. This is my channel. My angle of reasoning is what you get when you come here. All right? No disrespect will be tolerated in the comment section below. And I'm saying this ahead of time before I even go into the story because there are a lot of people that are going to get deep into them feelings and you're going to want to express yourself in a certain manner and it's not going to be appreciated. So kindly keep the disrespect to yourself. But you're free to say whatever else you want to say in the comment section below. All right? Here we are. Now, I've, had, I've gotten a bunch of different... How should I say it now? A bunch of different emails concerning this case. And like I said before from the beginning of the case, I don't think that this man who was staying at the house... First of all, a 44-year-old woman, a 32-year-old young viral fit man, property protector, all this other stuff. You left England and gone to lock up in a house in Jamaica with this man, right? And he's supposed to be a worker. Somebody that's working on the house, fixing the house. Well, people in the area are speaking up. And before I go into all that, let me go through one. Because this is the one that really grabbed my attention. Somebody said, so Flo, I can send you some information. I said, all right, send it. Them said, you see the story about the woman that died in St. Mary, Jamaica. It's a bunch of fake news, you know. Enough misinformation in there. The man that killed the woman was the same man that used to be up and down in a the room in a the woman bends all over the place. The man was in an affair with the woman, so her death was based on jealousy because our man did go forward from overseas sometime soon. Now, the first reaction from me now is, how do you know all this? The person replied, "I live in Saint Anne's." Ocho Rios to be exact, they live in Bosco Bell, which is close by. However, you could see them together on several occasions at numerous parties, especially this one right here, son. If you don't believe me, call it out by your channel and tell people from that area to write in a comment section or something. So, all right, this is what I'm doing. There's a party named Promoter Thursdays, which is held in Arakabesa Square. This person alleged that Karen and that same youth that was arrested, the same one that was living at the house, supposed to be a property protector, property provider, um, caretaker, slash mason, worker, builder, etc. They were seen at several parties on several occasions all over the place, but mainly this one and this one is called promoter thursdays so if you are from that area promoter thursdays which is held in arakabesa square so flow tv is kind of asking you to leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me if you had ever seen her there with him and what you saw now mr really so did anybody else see them out there besides you the man said, yeah man, if you have any link in Arakabesa, may I tell you, just link down there and so much, see how much people are talk. A regular talk on the street down here, that because everybody know that. Several times, she and the youth all over the place. And if she not dead, I him alone roll the bends. What me feel, say, is that him get hype because he was a real hype kind of person. I replied, me did suspect so, you know. The person replied, him fall in love with the luxury life and couldn't manage to see the woman with another man, knowing that hype life is his thing. So in other words, when the man from England fly in, house I go get take back, he might go find somewhere for stay, Ben's I go gone, and he might go walk foot again, right? And he never want a kind of life there. Now, this is the part that puzzled me because I'm saying to myself, now Mr. shaking my head and him kill off the woman. I'm sure he knew all along that she was with the Englishman, but something's still not right. Did she promise him that she would leave the Englishman eventually for him and that the house was going to be built for both of them instead of him? 
Did she promise him something like that? Now, this person who's sending me this, I didn't expect them to know that because that would be inside detail, right? Would she leave the Englishman for him? Because, you know, some people, them string you along, you know. Make you feel like, all right, she must trust me for real, man. Me, I live in the property, and me, I go go and do all of the work while she, there in England, I live our life, right? Well, the person said, I'm not sure what kind of arrangements were, were made, my general. Just that I know that he was living the lavish life for sure benzyme foot and full of hype obviously make it get to him head and him kill off the woman mr shaking my head madness now let's not forget karen is gone this is not an attempt to tarnish her name this is me discussing something that i find very interesting who not like it come on from my channel if you feel disrespectful all right now Something with this whole case just did not sit right to me at all. It made no sense to me. So if you comb the comment section on the channel, you will see older women saying, Jamaican women never learn. Ladies, listen. If you're doing business in Jamaica and you're going down there, don't go down there to take up no boy. Don't go down there to get in and no affairs with no boy or anything like that. Because when your man forward, jealousy might take over. Some of them also said, caretaker for your property and your things you better make sure says an elderly person all right no no young boy you're gonna left in a big mansion and bends and talk about his caretaker of property all right so those things really did not sit right with me he's 32 she's 44 i don't know how that sit right with her husband or her boyfriend should say i don't even know if he actually knew per se all the going ons now, if people see me out of road and them see me with a girl and the girl is not brains, right? It is the manner of our behavior that's going to make people think, all right, something are gone. And it is this same manner that their relationship had been described to me. Because talking to these people, different various individuals, I'm replying to them and I'm saying stuff like, okay, so what if she's seen in the company of the same person she entrusted her property to to take care of it look after it while she's away plus he is one of the laborers doing work on the building the property them said no when you see man or woman a party body language i gotta tell you everything if she a wind up on him or spread out on him and him face down in her neck and these kind of things now i started to think to myself i said yeah i could actually tell my wife said me and some of them just go a party man all right, nobody never say we had to hold hand, touch, not, not even dance together. That's different from if people say, yo, brains, watch that picture here. And the picture shows she a wind up on me, leg in her ear, wrap up around me, my face down in her neck. What I'm trying to say is the people out there saw more, allegedly, and they're speaking up more now. A lot of people are offended that we're even discussing this. If you don't have proof, you're not to discuss nothing. Well, hell, well, we're supposed to just not talk about things. It looked very suspicious to me, and not only to me. It looked suspicious to a whole lot of other people too, right? So, with these people writing in and telling me these things, I figured I would share it with my audience and hear what my audience has to say, especially the part where the man said they were seen numerous occasions, on several occasions, at numerous parties, especially... This one we see them at multiple times together carrying on and this party here was Thursday is held Thursday is called promoter Thursday which is held in Arakabesa Square. Alright. Here's what I want my people to do. If you know anybody that live in that area or attend a party in Jamaica that's called Promoter Thursday. Right, and if y'all have ever seen this lady out there in the company of that man or any other man acting anything like man or woman as far as intimate relationship goes, then forward with some information for SoFlow TV. Now, please remember, I'm not gonna take just information from anybody. You're gonna have to give me some more proof. And let me say this: I cannot cannot let out who I'm getting this information 